Hello everyone, this is Jack Frost with your weekly update for the Ethereum Technicals and XRP. Before I get into it, I want to say that after this video, I will be taking a break from these videos for a couple of weeks. Until the beginning of November, the next video I will do for these Ethereum Technical and XRP markets will be on the 5th of November on New York time. Though I will still be checking the comments, so if you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to send those down below and I will be able to answer them as promptly as I can. On the Ethereum weekly chart, price has overall declined after this previous consolidation range between resistance up at 41.30 and support now resistance at 2800. Price for the very short term consolidating within now resistance at 2800 and support at 2400 for the very very short term finding support at 2400 increasing a little bit. Volume does overall support downwards movement with the strongest volume on the bearish candlesticks particularly these last few ones just here. In relation to their neighbouring bullish candlesticks the volume is much stronger and overall the volume is much stronger seeing volume support downwards movement though some strength and upwards movement still remains within volume as there is a push on some of the bullish candlesticks. ADX continues to increase with a bearish trend that is not extreme and not yet in danger of ending overall seeing price to continue lower at this time frame. On balance volume still has no new range and gives no signal failing to find support at prior resistance just here. Though as it continues it may continue to find resistance at this resistance line just here. RSI is declining getting a little bit closer to oversold. Money flow also declining getting even closer to oversold though it does still have a bit of room to move before it may enter oversold and additionally neither RSI or money flow exhibit any divergence. ATR has previously increased along with price now moving a little bit lower giving an overall bullish outlook for volatility. And as the strength indicated by ADX is not yet extreme and not in danger of ending it does expect price to continue lower potentially to where ADX may reach extreme or very extreme conditions while RSI and money flow may enter oversold and or exhibit some divergence. On the technical daily chart for Ethereum we can see more detail for price's consolidation between support at 2400 and resistance at this point at 2720 for the very short term finding support at 2400 now moving a little bit higher. At the daily time frame volume continues to support downwards movement as well with the strongest volume on these bearish candlesticks though we can see some more pushes on the bullish candlesticks showing some more strength for upwards movement volume does overall support downwards movement giving a bearish volume profile at this point. ADX now increases at the daily time frame with a bullish trend that is not extreme and not yet in danger of ending as ADX began to increase from a low point and below both DX lines this is the strongest signal that ADX can give seeing price to continue upwards at the daily time frame. RSI is neutral and increasing with a little bit of room before it may enter overbought. Money flow declining getting a little bit closer to oversold though it does still have quite a bit of room before it may enter overbought or oversold itself. Additionally neither RSI or money flow exhibit any short term divergence though we do have this bullish divergence here in the past where these indicators made higher lows while price closed lower. ATR has declined for the short to mid term as price has consolidated giving an overall bullish outlook for volatility where ATR previously increased along with price. And as this trend indicated by ADX is still in its early stages it does expect price to continue higher at the daily time frame. This may continue to where ADX reaches extreme or very extreme conditions while RSI and money flow may enter overbought and or exhibit some divergence. Please note that at this point we do rely quite heavily on the Elliott Wave count for Ethereum which you can sign up for today at pureelliottwave.com using the link in the description below. And on the weekly chart for XRP this downwards movement labeled Intermediate Wave 2 within Primary Wave 3 now expecting price to continue higher for Intermediate Wave 3. Primary Wave 3 has a target calculated at 28.84 which is the 14.72 ratio between that and Primary Wave 1. It may last a duration of Fibonacci three years ending potentially in November 2025. A best fit channel is drawn around intermediate wave two with price recently finding resistance as price continues to move around the base channel drawn around the primary degree movements as you saw on the previous video for XRP on the monthly chart and the upper edge of the best fit channel around intermediate wave two. As intermediate wave three continues higher any second wave corrective movement cannot move below its start at 0.3838 and the end of intermediate wave two on the weekly chart. As the slow on the daily chart we can see more detail for the upwards movement for the beginning stages of intermediate wave three we can see where price has continued where we expected it to go for the short term. At this point we expect minor wave one within intermediate wave three to continue higher currently within minute minuet and sub minuet third waves. These overlapping third waves should come with increasing range and momentum eventually though as is common for cryptocurrencies like XRP 
It is common for these third waves to start out slow, accelerate through the middle and explode at the end, so a lack of range and momentum at this point is not cause for concern. This best fit channel copied over from the weekly chart, a break above this best fit channel on the daily time frame would add confidence to this wave count, seeing upwards movement to continue. And within Minuet Wave 3, any second wave corrective movement cannot move below its start at 0.5030, meaning if Sub Minuet Wave 2 just here wants to move any lower, it cannot move below this point. Additionally, if price does move below that point, then any second wave corrective movement within Minute Wave 3 cannot move below its start at 0.4322, meaning if Minuet Wave 2 wants to move any lower, it cannot move below that point. These third waves can only subdivide as impulses and are expected to continue upwards. And on the technical weekly chart for XRP, the previous labels for the symmetrical triangle have been removed as that pattern has failed. Price now moves a little bit around support between 0.54 and 0.55, this previous candlestick just here, a strong bearish engulfing pattern. Volume does support downwards movement with the strongest volume on the bearish candlesticks, particularly a strong push on this last candlestick here, labeled the bearish engulfing pattern. Though we do see a push on some of the bullish candlesticks, seeing some strength for upwards movement. ADX increases, though it is below 15, so there is no clear trend. If it continues to increase to and above 15, it will give the strongest bearish signal it can, increasing from a low point and below both DX lines. On balance volume still has no new range, though it does react to support just here, giving a slight bullish signal. RSI moves overall sideways. Currently, it is quite squarely in neutral territory, with quite a bit of room before it may enter overbought or oversold. Money flow is also moving overall sideways with a lot of room before it may enter overbought or oversold. ATR has declined quite steeply along with price moving sideways at this point, giving an overall bullish outlook for volatility where it previously increased along with price. And as there is no clear trend indicated by ADX, we use the model of stochastics and support and resistance at the weekly time frame, though please note that while we do prefer the daily time frame for short-term price fluctuations, at the weekly time frame the model of stochastics and support and resistance suggests a downward swing may occur at this point, towards support potentially down to 46 or down to 0.40, where price may find one of those support points while stochastics may enter oversold. On the technical daily chart, price has declined after this last bearish engulfing pattern just here. We have a slight pennant pattern forming at this point. We have the beginning and end of the wick just here. I have calculated a possible target at 0 0.3789 where if price breaks out to the downside as these pennant patterns are continuation patterns, a breakout would be expected to the downside. So there is a possible target at this point. Though please feel free to calculate your own target. As with the different data sources, it is impossible to get any specific number there. So if we can get a more broad idea for these targets, it may give us a better idea for where price may continue. For the very short term, price has continued to consolidate around resistance now support at 0.54 and 0.55. Volume supports downwards movement with a push on various bearish candlesticks as well as strongest volume on the bearish candlesticks, though for the mid to long term, volume is strongest on the upward sessions. At this point, the volume profile is bearish. ADX now declines at the daily time frame, showing no clear trend. RSI is neutral quite squarely in neutral territory, with quite a bit of room before it may enter overbought or oversold. Money flow also squarely in neutral territory, with a lot of room before it may enter overbought or oversold. ATR declines along with price previously, increasing along with price giving an overall bullish outlook for volatility at the daily time frame as well. And as ADX declines at the daily time frame as well, the model of stochastics and support and resistance suggests an upward swing may occur at this point towards 0.58 or potentially up to 0.62, where price finds one of those resistance points while stochastics may enter overbought. Though please note that we do rely quite heavily on the Elliott wave count for where we expect price to go. And that's all for me with your weekly update for XRP and the Ethereum technicals. As I previously mentioned, if you do want the Ethereum Elliott wave count, I will be continuing to do updates for that at pureelliottwave.com. You can sign up for that using the link in the description below. Thank you, and I hope everyone has a good rest of the month.